Speaking of Megan, though, we got to talk about her over the top baby shower she had. One report says her New York City celebration cost over $430,000 from the hotel penthouse, royal protection to the private jet. The bill just kept racking up. Apparently, some people in England are not too happy with the excessive affair. This is going to ca- I wish Melanie was here, but I think that there this is going to start to become an issue. Well, here's the thing Melanie was saying that baby showers are not super common. They're yeah. very understated, the Brits. And well, let's be so real. I can understand thousand dollar baby showers are not very common. <laughs> true, very right. True. And it's true, but to go to New York to do the private jet, that all comes out of the royal budget. Yeah, but let's be honest. Her party was hosted by Amal and Serena and Jessica Maroney. Which is like, what? And the hotel itself was a reportedly $75,000. I've stayed in that penthouse at the mark before. Don't ask me why. And it is $75K a night. But that hotel was given to them for free to get Gail King, Serena Williams, a mall to be pictured in front of your hotel. You're gonna throw that person that baby shower. You're gonna give them everything for free and more. She probably got a hundred thousand dollars comped between the food, the alcohol, and everything else. Yeah, and Megan's not paying for the too. for the baby shower portion. No, like, to back to you stayed in a seventy thousand, seventy five thousand dollar night. Suite. That was back in my pretty woman days when I was a oh PYT and I dated this guy who lived on the Upper East Side, but he didn't want to be seen with me, so he took me to the Lower East Side. What? Yes. Oh, I don't know. You don't believe this story? I, I mean, love it. Well, I don't know. I feel like we've all fallen into some hotel rooms. I haven't been into one that much. I've never stayed at a place that cost seventy five thousand dollars a night, nor have I even walked into one. I don't think you spent at a like the, 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 the George Sank is pretty no pretty oh. pricey. Yeah, but not that pricey. And by the way, I stole everything at the hotel room. I have it all in that my bag. That soap's worth a thousand. Oh, already. I was buying, calling up for everything. I have slippers. I have robes I won't oh, even the use. The robes are the things you gotta take. Mm -hmm. uh, Panache has thoughts on this. She says, I don't know about her being a bigger star. I mean, that's Beyonce, but I do think she has gained respect from them, which makes her a star. Really well said. All I gotta say is, if Beyonce got married tomorrow, would it be broadcasted to 85 billion people? There you That's go. just the way it's right. done for the Brits. Beyonce doesn't want that. And it was all over the world. If it was, if Beyonce broadcast her wedding, people would be tuning all over the world into that. I wouldn't wake up at four o'clock in the morning to see Beyonce's wedding. I would wait till the next day to get it on CNN. There's nothing like a royal princess. I mean, that's the, the, yeah. yeah, Duchess. That's it for today's Daily Pop, but don't worry, we do it every day. That's right, and be sure to click below to subscribe to our E! News YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the latest videos. Whether it's tackling breaking Hollywood headlines or amazing celebrity in-studio interviews, Daily Pop on YouTube will keep you pop cultured. See you soon.